You just don't want to be eaten again. That's all it is. I know what you're up to, Sean. You just don't want to die miserably. Who wants to be my buddy? Come on, who wants to be my buddy? Don't be like that, Sean. At some point we'll survive. We got a lot further than I thought I would on the first run. Alright. Many characters. That's not the button I wanted to press, is it? Yeah, it was. Alright, we're hitting the road. Decide to grab some supplies. Yeah. Go bargain hunting. Oh, I've got a knitting needle now. What do you got? Uh, we need weapons. Nah, nah, nah. Alright, that's my weapon gone. Well, I've got a gun. I walked in the shop and I got a gun. I don't think I particularly need the gun right now. Do we have any toilet gas? No. We're not that lucky. There's another gun. We have guns. We have loads of guns. This is the gun run. We're just going to blap things. Let me pick up one of these. Eh. There you go. For a minute. Oh, a piece of wood. Eh. <laughs> that lasted so long. Ah, stop shooting the wrong thing. Shoot the right way. Is that it? Is that literally it? I'm gonna take one of these, I guess. Wait a minute. Well, I have a lot of guns. That's the most important thing. <laughs> you remember your knitting needle. <laughs> yeah, my knitting needle did just as well as yours What did, to be fair. <laughs> In America, there are guns everywhere. The group finds a large campsite that is occupied by a few carloads of other survivors. Camping with the strangers is risky. We might as well camp with them. <gasps> Did the hand in warm water prank to Anna? How dare they? The group spies the city from a distance. There's more undead than usual, but it's early in the day, so they should be groggy at, the f at least at first. Do you want to go to the restaurant or the furniture store? 
Is there more chance of getting a weapon in one of them? Because as much as I like having guns, I don't have that much ammo. And I would like a weapon. It couldn't have been you. Yeah, right. This could be a long car journey with you to take you back home. Or close enough to home. You can get the boat on your own. I mean, we need food. I don't want to take both guns. That That's for sure. I'm not taking both guns. It's already morning, so we don't need the thing. Restaurant can have knives. We'll go for the restaurant then. I wouldn't mind getting a knife. Blah! Oh my god, I've got femur, which does nothing. Blah! Blah! I don't have a femur anymore. What happened to my femur? I can pick up. Is it? Is, ah, there we go. That's better. That's a bit better. I have a knife now. I've got a knifey. God, our weapons suck. Oh. Ah. Eh. So many doors. Hey. <gasps> A baseball bat. Throw it at the zombie. I've got a spoon. Maybe I want to pick up the knife. Pick up the knife instead of the spoon. There's nothing in there. Ah. Catch it over there. Pick this up. Pick the knife up. Well, are you fo no, you not. Why are you not picking the better weapon up there? <laughs> Doesn't want it. I want to bash some zombie heads in with a baseball bat. Not a baseball. Can you get cricket bats in this? I kind of want a cricket bat. I used to play cricket as well. I used to play a lot of sports, to be honest. I was a rugby player and then I hurt my knee. I nearly played for the Plymouth Albion under 18 or under, yeah, under 18 team. I was scouted. I was that good. Curry to go.
trap some people. Oh, don't. Why? <sighs> My blapping isn't going very well. There we go. some of these zombies before I go into any more rooms. Pick them off one by one. There are a lot of zombies in this room. Food. There's nothing else in here. I don't know why I'm attacking them. I can just run away now. Run away! There's nothing over there. That's it. That's it. We can run. Run! Oh my god, there's a lot of chat in there. I was paying so much attention to the game. What's going on? It was I who unleashed the zombies in the first place. I was down there to stop Trump. I mean, I approve. If this is what happens just to stop Trump, then I approve fully. Emerald Monday Gang is immune. We are immune, but we will be nommed to death by them. We just can't get caught on fire. <laughs> cricket is great. I, I don't mind cricket. I was a... Um, scrum half? Is that what they're called? Yeah, the pistol was shit. But I didn't have much shotgun ammo. And I like the shotgun for better or worse situations. It's been a long time since I've played any sports. I don't remember names. I think it was a scrum half. That's what jumps out at me. I was big and I shouted a lot. I was also a goalkeeper for football. I was a fielder in rounders. I threw the javelin. I had had the record for the javelin throw in the West Country for a little bit. And I like the hurdles. Scrum half is fun, but it was big, so I've got put in the pack. I pitched the ball out to you real nice, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of miss playing rugby. Like, the reason I never went... Well, I went to one of the things when I got... I say scouted. They, they just... I think we were, like, the first school to really 
pay attention to women's or girl, girls rugby teams. So they didn't have much to pick from at the time. And um, I went to one. I did all right. And then my dad refused to send me to them. And then I stopped playing rugby because I hurt my knee. Because our field at school was absolutely awful. And there was a rock sticking out of the ground. And I fell on it and whacked my knee. And messed my knee up didn't break or anything but it still hurts to this day the group gets a rare peaceful moment to relax on an apartment roof there's time to talk and someone reveals a lot about themselves who do we want to reveal a lot about themselves who do we know a lot about Anna likes to talk about her favorite canned foods because I'm boring can't stop talking about bacon <laughs> is that why we were talking about bacon earlier in the stream yeah, rugby is hard on the body. It doesn't help that I'm clumsy as well, so I fall over a lot as it is. I'm not clumsy, to be fair. I say I'm clumsy, but I'm partially deaf. When I was a kid, I had a problem with my eardrum. And uh, my right eardrum is just not worth even calling an eardrum, to be honest. I can still hear out of my right ear, but if I ever sound like I'm shouting, it's because I just can't hear it myself because I'm deaf. You switch from PC to cozy. Good, you should get some good sleep, doofus. Lady Kaiserin reveals her true essence. Her strength is poor, her shooting is poor, her fitness is poor, her mechanical is kind of poor. <laughs> wow! <laughs> this is going to be a good run! That's some good stats we have there. Uh, you have terrible stats just like in real life. <laughs> the group camps out in a pro shop near a golf course. Lady Kaiserin looks out of the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from a driving range. Which one are we going to do? I mean, you're probably going to miss the zombies with your golf balls. Oh my god, look at that. And you're only slightly happy with your morale as well. Wow. Being funny in chat isn't a good apocalypse skill. Wouldn't it be funny if me and you made it to Canada now <laughs> with these stats? Me, I'm already miserable, but I've got good wits and good attitude. We're going to have to prepare for a siege. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, have a golf club. You know what, I'm going to take the hatchet. If you don't want the hatchet, I'm going to have the hatchet. And you can have the knife. I kind of want to see what happens if we just have her shoot golf balls. <laughs> because <laughs> it's not going to go well. But Siege might not go well either. Confused to bandits by calling them poggers. It's not bandits, it's zombies. Just shout with poggers at a bunch of zombies and run away. I 
I might shoot the golf balls just to see what happens. I'm gonna do it. Whoops. <laughs> the group picks up the group picks up a bunch of clubs and gets some buckets of golf balls. They start driving shots down the range and the zombies close in. It's hard work and the team mostly just tires themselves out. They are overwhelmed by the zombies and we both got hurt and my fitness is bad. Ah, uh, I think we're all gonna die. The group checks out what appears to be a trader settlement. They are instead ambushed by bandits who have taken it over. One of them looks injured. I mean... <laughs> you could try to heal them with your absolutely terrible medical skills. How much food do we actually have? We have 20. How much do they want? Nine, that's not too bad to get away without killing someone. I guess we're going to have to pay them because we're not going to survive otherwise. And there is no shout poggers at them to survive option, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, you don't have a single happy stat now. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade with preserved food being the new currency. Alright, let's go and see if we can get some free stuff. Some free stuff. Probably not. I don't like Ah I don't want the gun out. I just wasted bullets. Ugh This man is selling anime and anime accessories from a converted food truck. I'm doing my part to keep civilization together. One anime sale at a time. By no anime. If I bought the anime figurine, I would literally have one food left, doofus. I don't think there's any point being here, to be honest. There's no free shit. Usually I'd be fully for going with the anime stuff, but I need my food. I need that food. Zombies are not our only problems out here. Hey, it's James! Yeah, you can stay for a minute. Still no doofus! The city is covered with hordes of undead and wreckage that has been touched by a previous fire. The group gets surrounded and their only chance is sprinting through the sewers. Uh... Right, we need that. I've got the hatchet. Right, the hatchet wants to be my number one thing. Still only got six, but he's got a pistol too. Right, he's going to need one of they. Because his walking stick, his cane is going to go. Should have stayed on the top. I like exploring. I like exploring. Ooh, room. <gasps> oh, what's that? Wait, where's my bat? I want the aluminium one.
take that with my hatchet. Oh. Sean just posted some music. Corduroy, don't wait for Monday. Ooh, I got a lot of ammo. You see, the thing is, Sean, you are just obsessed with Monday as we are. You love Monday just as much as we do. Every day is a great teacher, as long as you don't get eaten. True. My morale increased. Lady Kaiserin's did. James's did. My mechanical did. Oh, look, you're not quite as unfit as before. And James strengthened. Oh, do we know James's skill? I haven't really looked at James yet. Hopes to find a flamethrower, as always. Oh, we know he's got poor strength and poor composure. That's it. The group camps in a sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop with busted machinery laying around. This would be a great time to train with repairing things, but that would make a lot of noise. Yeah, we'll tinker. Who should do that? Who should tinker with the broken machinery? Uh, we kind of want to get our car nuts mechanical up. Is this going to up someone's mechanical? I don't know mine. And I don't know James's. Hmm. Might do one of the ones we don't know. Uh, 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 uh. I gain mechanic from the raiding because like because they're in as a mechanic, yeah. Or a car nut. I kinda wanna Hmm. Lady Kaiser spends all night taking stuff apart and putting them back together. It's very noisy. It's going up. <laughs> Her skills are going up. The car has broken down from use and abuse. It won't start up again. Go on. Lady Kaiser pops the hood of the car. She completely fails to repair the car after wasting a day on it. Oh well. Oh well.
While walking, James doesn't know there's a hole in his backpack. Oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> we lost so much! <laughs> James! While walking, Anna stubs her toe badly. It's not a big deal, but it's really annoying. <sighs> James spots a car parked in the middle of the road. They rush over to discover of a, a car that looks suspiciously like the car they started their journey in. James takes the keys that he kept from the old car and sticks it in the ignition. It starts. We're happy! Yeah! We've got so much gas! The group finds a trashed house with some bottles and tattered rags. Sh searching it seemed like a waste of time, but Anna has an idea. It could make molotov molotovs if they can spare the gas. I mean, we kind of can, but at the same time, I'm so bad with things like that that I will just end up killing us all with fire. So I'm kind of wanting to keep the gas and keep the car going. Because I will just kill us all with Molotov cocktails. <laughs> the group is driving down a long stretch of road. No threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest either. Right, I'm going to go and see if they've got any crap. Hidden away. They're not gonna. They're not gonna. Who are you? It's some sort of lizard alien. No one seems to mind. For a small fee, it can permanently mess up your genetic code. Well, that's a shame. <gasps> it's a graveyard. Yeah, it does seem cool. I'm guessing it'll change all your stats and stuff, which wouldn't have been a bad thing for Lady Kaiser, and seeing we know that most of her stats are bad. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. What do we want to do? Yeah, I'm sad we ran out of food. I would have, even if I only just had enough food to do that and not enough to feed myself afterwards, I would have probably done it. But having my one food did not help. You could have handed up a dog. I'm not saying that I would prefer a dog over a human, but what's wrong with being a dog? Hell yeah, dog hype. We want to be dogs. You like having thumbs. Maybe they can turn you into a dog with thumbs. Also being able to eat chocolate and speak. My dog eats chocolate. He's not meant to, but the little shit does. Talking chocolate, eating dog with thumbs. <laughs> you can be Gaspil, the wonder dog from the disc world. I don't think he ate chocolate, but... He could talk. He didn't have thumbs either. But he could talk. <laughs> That's what he could do. He could talk. Maybe that is just a fursona. It pretty much is just a fursona. Of all the animal things in a Discord, I'd want to be the librarian who is an orangutan. A human turned into an orangutan. I'm currently reading The Last Continent, which is the book that takes the piss out of Australia. Or the stereotypes of Australia. And the librarian is ill. So because he's been turned into an orangutan. His morphic field is playing up. So every time he sneezes. He turns into something different. Like he was a ginormous book. Like a furry book. With all the words just being ook in it. You never wanted a first owner. And don't plan to make one. Fair. Are we going to go to the barn? Are we going to go to the car? How is our car doing? 
Our car's kind of alright. I kind of want to go to the barn. Can't you get chickens in the barn? Barn. The group drives near a farm. A large crowd of zombies slowly chase some pig. <gasps> nice. Pig. It's daybreak, so we don't need the torch. Let's save our torch. Yeah, we're good. We're good to go. Why am I backing myself into a corner here? I was not paying enough attention. Got them all. Just wasting my bullets. But there were a lot of zombies. I d no! Why did I do that? I don't want another gun. That's alright, I still got my hatchet. He took my bat. The bastard. Right, is everyone full? No. You just don't like picking anything up. Uh, button, button, button. That can go to him. You can have those. Buttons. Well, I made up for blapping everything to death by getting... Some more ammo. So it didn't matter that I blapped so much to death. Ah! Alright, let me get my gun out. Ah! Oh, there was one right there in front of me. Is a pitchfork better than what I've got? Oh, it's going to definitely be better than the cane. Ah! Oh, wait a minute. I just want to take the pitchfork. Fine, take it over that. I don't care. I don't care. I know, I've never had this many guns. Ever. There's a spider web on the ceiling. This is exactly like Charlotte's web. The pig squints at the group. Pigs are well known for their flavour and their constant hopping around. They can't drive cars. Recruit the pig! The group accept accepts. Laureate to the team. Laureate joins the team. We has a pig. I 
I'm so happy right now. This pig. This was so worth it. We got a pig. Oh yeah. No eating teammates. We don't do the eating of teammates. The pig's not happy. <laughs> I wonder if Lady Kaiser has been talking to him about how tasty he'd be. In the morning, there's a moose outside the camp. It looks injured and he's just glaring at the group. Even injured, a moose is a really powerful creature. Probably best not to mess with it. Right. I don't want to wrestle the moose. That's for sure. James is a gun collector. That's not going to be the same as being good at shooting, though, is it? He's the only one that can shoot it. Shoot that brutal moose. We're going to shoot brutal moose. But I love brutal moose. He might actually be my favourite of the group now. I mean, obviously Jeff is, but we put him on a different level because I'm just obsessed with him. Brutal Moose might be my f I don't know if I want to kill a moose. We're going to shoot the moose. Ah. Oh. He whiffs the shot. The moose is not happy about this and stomps him up real bad. His shooting is really bad. <laughs> His morale only changed a little bit. We're all going to die. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. A, sw a swarmed arcade, police headquarters, or bullet-ridden house. Well, the bullet-ridden house isn't going to be as deadly as these two. That moose was indeed brutal. Extremely brutal. How could Ian do that to us? I, I've, I've been to the head, uh, the police headquarters a couple times, but I'm not really sure what it is we get there. I know you can get like random skill checks and stuff in the arcade by playing the games. I'm guessing a bullet ridden house is going to be just, oh well, it's the easy one there as well, so it's not going to be that great. More guns and a safe usually. I mean we have got We've got no food. Is any of them better for food? Because we have no food. I mean, until we have all of the guns, this run is not going anywhere. My house. You see, we've got so much, like, so much ammo, and we've got so many guns that I feel like not having food. We might want to try the house. Plus, with everyone like near enough dead, other than the pig. It might be a good idea to go to the house because it's not... The red is worse than just normal, isn't it? I might go to the house. I might chicken out and go to the house. The group sees a house from a distance. On getting closer, it looks like a large gunfight happened here between humans. From the house, many groans of the undead can be heard. Late morning. It's moderate. They're calm. You can have some bullets, mate. But... Oh, maybe he can't. Oh no, we don't have bullets for that. You're going to be completely useless with that then. I'm hoarding them over here, that's why. I might give myself the shotgun. Well, that's not a shotgun, it's a rifle. Look at how many guns I've got! Why do I have so many guns? Gems, you can have one back. I actually willed that. Just have that. 
How are your weapons going? They dropped the pitchfork. I don't believe they dropped it. <laughs> you really like this, don't you? Oh my god. I might not bother with that then. Uh, I've got six, just in case. We're going. Keep saying it, but it's so weird playing this game with no music. I gotta figure that out before Animal Crossing because obviously I'm gonna have music for myself on Animal Crossing. I'll need to move this TV at some point and have a look at it. Oh, look, there's a gun! What we always wanted a gun. Can we give our pig a gun? Everyone must have a gun, including the pig. They really want us to be shooting things in this. Wait, I still got my hatchet, that's right. Take that knife. got some medical someone can probably now be healed a little bit there's a zombo ah. right we've got two food we've been that way Is that it for the house? We didn't get anything. Well, I, I lied. We got more ammo. Everywhere. All of the ammo. All of the time. Can't even sell the pistols that I traded. We do have a gun collector. Yeah, but we didn't have him at first. And like the first couple of places we went to before we got James. There was Lady Kaiserian in there. Gun collector as well. Bandits, no, she's not. Bandits appear all wearing sweatbands. Right, we either give in to what they want, or we have James challenge them to a pose off. Do we care what happens to James? James isn't here. James isn't part of the Monday cult. Do we care if he dies doing the pose off? Oh, you two have a good sleep. You you need sleep, both of you. I say, I barely sleep. I 
I'm going to send him to the polls off. He manages to somehow beat the ballads in a bodybuilding competition. <laughs> Laureate is happy. No, I, I will try. <gasps> Doofus! You're here, Doofus! I have a happy Monday. I hope you get good sleep and I will try to get you home to Canada. I promise I will do my best to get you home to Canada. But we do have a bandit with us now, so... <laughs> we'll send James away. Oh, he had our guns, though. We keep our ammo. He can leave with a gun. The group sets up camp outside a grocery store. They notice another group has been following them and will probably attempt to loot the place. So we send you in to loot it. I think we should send you in to loot it. You're not loyal though. That's a loyal thing, isn't it? Maybe we want to send the pig instead then. I know nothing about the pig. I might send the pig. Should we send the pig? I'm going to send the pig. Go pig! The other members stand guard outside for the looters as Laureate searches the gro grocery store. She says there wasn't any food. Well pig, well pig, this is what you've done to us. You will be the emergency ration in a minute because we've got no food again. <laughs> The group finds a city in the afternoon. The dead swarm over it. They're idle now, but they will notice you soon enough. <sighs> Ugh, we're going to go to the grocery store because we need food. She can wield something. The pig can wield. Like, do you have a knife? Urgh, what have I got? Right, I want to get rid of the rifle and give myself one of the many, many pistols. I'm giving up, caring what she wants. You're going to have a golf club. Pig with a golf club. I like the aluminium bat, though. I might get Doofus the aluminium bat as well. We got this. We got this. Some medicine. Some medicine. Oh my god, there's another gun. What have I got? Pig butt. <laughs> pig butt. <laughs> Doofus will pick up the Uzi. But you're not going to use it. Um. Yeah, I don't want them using it. Not just yet. I have the gun. No one else can use a gun. I don't want more ammo, I want food. I don't want a Molotov, I will just kill us all. I keep saying it, but it is true. I will kill us all if we take a Molotov. Oh, I want that over my kitchen knife. But I also like my hatchet. Ah. Get in there for more ammo, more guns. It's just another pistol. What is going on? Right, time for me to get my gun out, though. 
and press the right button to shoot it, which is always helpful. Blah. Kill them all! Kill them! Ah! Look at this one. I want that one as a pet. Pet zombie. I'm tired. It's taking me longer to actually... Will you just all... <laughs> I want them all fighting. Come on, let's just kill some stuff. No, no. Ooh. Ooh, more ammo. We got one food. And there's a mop in there. We got guns for days. If we ever get to the border, we're going to have like all of the guns. Getting to the border is not going to be difficult. Should probably actually mute my phone. Oh, seeing it's actually been confirmed, doofus, I have some good Like, it was literally only the other day I was telling Sean not to tell anyone. But it was confirmed last night it's happening, so I've got some good news. Which I might be able to share. My friend Lucius, who I work with on my website, knew someone who is going to do our emotes for us. So I don't know if she's going to do the Monday one or if she's going to do the other ones we were talking about, or me and her were talking about. She's going to send some sketches over soon. If I get them, I will share them in a the Discord. But I did ask for the Monday one. I said that was like possibly the more important one at the minute. But we're going to get some. If not, then um, he knows someone else who will definitely do the Monday morning, uh, the Monday heart one. We will have those emotes on Discord. See, I didn't forget about the emotes. I said I'd do them. I just needed to find someone to do them. <laughs> and I'm lazy, so I don't tend to do things. And then Lucius was like, have you thought about the emotes yet? And I was like, no, I don't really know anyone to do them. I was going to do it myself, but... I decided not to. And he was like, well, I know someone. Right, that is it. Oh, wait a minute. Did I go to this house? No. Didn't need to go to that house. But yeah, like I gave her a couple ideas of what I kind of wanted. Um, I have no idea what she's going to go and do though. I, I just was like, I don't really care as long as we've got some. So I think we're going to get six, maybe including the heart with the Monday. Maybe, maybe. Hopefully the heart is great. She's going to send me sketches before she actually makes them. So 
if she does that one and I haven't already said it's going to be green, I will message her back and be like, I want that to be green, a green heart as well. But knowing me, I forgot to say it's meant to be green. Yeah, they're going to be for the server for now. They're going to all go up on the server. I think, like, that girl that we, um, or the lady that we raid, that plays Star Dude, her all pearl, she has hers on BTTV. So I might be able to load them onto BTTV so that we've got them on Twitch for BTTV so that other people with that can see them. But they're definitely going on Discord. Like, like as soon as I've got them, they will be loaded onto Discord. But then, like, because she, she's going to do six for me now. And if I like them, and if you guys like them, then I might ask her to do another six. And just get some done. I've been thinking, I've been thinking. I also, I did the panels on Twitch below with like my about me stuff and all that. I made that all look nice. Because beforehand, uh, Rick had done it. We've got the link to Discord on there now as well. So hopefully we'll get some new people into Discord in the next couple weeks. Like at the minute, I'm not really playing any games that are going to be like, get a lot of viewers in. Other than we get a lot of people in for Dag and Romper. But it depends what time of day that I stream. I don't stream a very good time of day, I don't think. Mainly because I'm in the UK and like... I don't think the UK likes good games. <laughs> but I'm kind of hoping we'll get... Even though it's going to be like a lot of people playing it at the same time and all that. I'm kind of hoping we're going to get some people that are trying to look for smaller streams to watch Animal Crossing on next week. So I'm going to... As soon as I wake up on the 20th, I'm going to start streaming. Regardless of what time it is. Regardless of if Jeff is streaming. Regardless of anything else. As soon as I wake up... I'm going to get online, I'm going to start playing Animal Crossing, and then I've got the two days off as well. So I can play it on the 20th, and I can play it on the 21st. And hopefully, like, even if we just get some people in, like, we're actually not doing too bad with followers, to be honest. We've got 24 now. We're nearly halfway to getting 50. I never thought we'd ever get that close to anything like that. But we're on 24. So we're getting there slowly. Very slowly, but we're getting there. The group finds a health food store. It seems like no one bothered to loot it because the food was disgusting. Most of the food seems to be rotting away. Or maybe it's not. It could be that the food is supposed to look and smell like this. I mean, we need food. I, I'm going to loot it. No one has good morale except for Lady Kaiserin. But we need the food. If we can find food, that is more important. The group pollutes the gross, fu gross, gross f health food. Picking what they can live with. This turns out to be not that much of the food in total. Anna thinks the food is fine. Oh my god. Doofus is really, really unhappy. The group feels healthy. Just looking at the gross, gross food. I can't say gross for some reason. I keep saying gross. Run over that zombie, yeah. But yeah, as soon as I get sketches over... I'll, um, because she started them last night. She messaged, I need to message her back actually to say thank you. Um, but, um, as soon as I get sketches, I'll put them in the update part of the, um, Discord and I'll tag you or ping you all in it so you can all see. She fails to, she always does. She's not that much of a car nut. While walking along a dark road, Doofus thought that he spotted a car in the distance. It was only when he got close to it that he realised it was just a giant rock. What a shame. 
After a long hike, the group finds a nice clearing to set up camp. The weather is nice and the group is able to rest peacefully. The group is low on food and eats less. Ugh, we're all getting very angry. Doofus rolls up his sleeves and starts trending, tending to their wounds. He lacks medical supplies. The group spots a car speeding down the road. Maybe the stranger can help them. Without slowing down, the driver yells, Help, nerds! And then the, crash, the car is gone. <laughs> After hours of hiking, the group finds a car! Yeah! Oh, we've got to search for the keys. Right. Ugh, you can have the rifle because I have a feeling we're gonna we're gonna struggle. Just need to remember to turn it on to um, allow them to shoot if I do get into trouble. Bap! Oh, there's the cabin. Oh my god. Oh, we're stuck. Like, just to get out of here, they can... They can... No one's gonna shoot anyway other than me. Do we want a hammer? Or a rusty machete? More ammo, some gas. It's what we always wanted. What have we got? Rip, 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 rip. Right, what did I drop? I like my cleaver. We're keeping our cleaver. We might do. Let's move that over for a second. Oh no, wait. Ah! Woo! Right, we are leaving with the right things, yeah. Keys fit perfectly. Anna unlocks the car door. Get in that car. No way we go. We got five food. We got the five food. Oh my god, look how much ammo we've got. <laughs> We're gonna have to start. That zombie was launched. <laughs> We're gonna have to start eating ammo. Group camps out in a big field. The group is low on food. Does anyone have good shooting? Because it's just a bad thing. I'm not even going to bother. They're all so upset. I'm going to just leave. <laughs> this is going so well. Doofus's body is affected by the stress of this hopeless situation. His fitness decreased. A deer has stopped in the middle of the road. It stares at the car. Lady Kaiser has bad everything. <laughs> she can try to shoot. Yeah, she's got... <laughs> try. She completely whiffs it. Fine. <laughs> she didn't get killed. That's the most important thing. Doofus accidentally slams his hand in... Doofus! In the car door, in anger, he gets out and kicks a tire, stubbing his toe. This makes him blow a gasket. Doofus is hurt. <sighs> Stop your tantruming! The group is driving down a long stre stretch of road. No threats in horizon, but not much else of interest either. We'll visit just in case they've got stuff. 
that's going to be a trader, isn't it? Yeah. Just drop the food in here. It's an old but fit man in matching grey sweatpants and sweatshirt. He screams something at about building mass and bulk with an intense strength routine. I'm going to charm him. Anna accidentally just comes off as creepy. <laughs> What's going on? Welcome to the Fence of Values. <laughs> the group meets a man who's carrying many swords. They clank around as he moves. One day I'll make the finest zombie slicing sword ever seen. I just have to figure out how to make swords. First I'll s sell you some I found. I mean, I would have if it wasn't for the fact that Doofus has seemingly hurt himself constantly. For the last like five minutes. We don't need to slow down. Doofus needs to slow down. Oh, Doofus under intense pressure starts to get shaky hands from the stress. From the distance, the group sees some skeletons and loot in the middle of the debris block street. They walk over to get a closer look. This gets the attention of a horde of zombies that rush out from all sides. Siege alert, there's no escape. Massive, late morning. Right. We're gunning it. Everyone's got guns. Yeah, yeah. Pig doesn't. Pig doesn't need guns. Oh, shit. Alright. Shoot the hell out of these zombies. <laughs> we went from having so much pistol ammo to 40 rounds. <laughs> but that's fine. It's all fine. We're going to survive. We can just run over zombies with the car. Don't, Doofus. Please don't. While driving the car, Doofus gets into a big argument with Lady Kaiserin. Take a break for a day. The group stops the car and sets up camp near the road so that Doofus and Lady Kaiserin can then get some space. This works about works out but it wastes the day the group didn't have nearly enough food to eat doubt festers uh, doofus rolls up his sleeves and starts tending to their wounds and he can't the group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation we'll heal them a little bit patch me up heal teammates 75 times everyone's a little happier Everyone's pretty much <laughs> Uzi did work. <laughs> yeah. The group sets up camp late. On the nearby highway is a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should have little bits of gas. Would I like to send someone to cipher it? Would I? Would I? I'm not going to send... I might send myself. Hmm. Yeah. Me. I'm going. I accidentally swallows a bit and gets really, really sick that night. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Eat the ammo, guys. Eat the ammo. We've got plenty of ammo. Can't we just kill the pig now? 
The creeper finds a candy bar on the side of the road. It's fun sized. Who gets it? Try to share it with everyone. Everyone learns a valuable lesson about sharing by trying to split an already tiny candy bar, maybe, sort of. <laughs> My weapons are a lot cleaner than they should be. We've got so many. Doofus! Doofus sneaks off when everyone is busy. He's a true weasel who steals the keys for the car, intending to take everything for himself. He drives off with most of the supplies. We've lost all our gas. We've lost 10 weapons, one medical supply, 10 ammo, or 10 shot, um, pistol ammo, 31 rifle, 39. Ah, oh, doofus. Well, it's Jen. It's nice to see a familiar face. She stretches, then she stretches some more. It's an elaborate stretching routine. Come on, Jen. The group accepts Jen to the team. While walking alongside a large stream, Anna notices some fish. I'm unable to... No, I'm able to this time. Again. I got it! I got it! The group finds a nice spot to camp for the night in the woods. Wind and rain move in during the night, catching a group by surprise. It is a miserable night with no car to retreat to. The group is low on food and eats less. This is going so well. The group finds a long road full of abandoned cars and the zombies that may be used to own them. There must be a lot of gas still in their tanks and there must be a car that still runs. Very thick hunting late morning. Right. Jen, what have you got? A bit of what? You're dead. We've got our weapon still. Oh, wait a minute. You've got my hatchet. But did we change? Oh, yeah, to get the machete. Oh, no, you want... No, I'm going to give that to Jen, actually. Because she hasn't got anything. Alright. Doofus made a good call. Doofus was nothing but a pain in the ass that entire time he was with us. And he steals everything. We need to run! Oh, look. Someone picked that up. No, I'm staying here, but someone needed to pick that up, and they did. Because that's smart. Oh, I got more ammo! <laughs> it's not what I wanted! up here there's nothing in that car nothing in that car i've dropped my bloody hatch uh, hatchet wait no go back no don't go back we lost it that was a bad idea why did i go back why do i keep dropping things randomly It's an old girl squad now. Absolute girl power over here. I've dropped the bloody gun now as well. Jesus Christ, how do I keep doing that? And I didn't pick up that gas. Jesus Christ. We have one gun. The can opener has seen better days. We don't need a can open. We've got two food. Right, we're going to the uh, rest stop. I decided. I, d I just... We have no torches either. Oh my god, what am I doing? I've dropped all my good weapons. I'm going to take the rifle for myself. Rest stop. Oh, 
Oh my god. No, no. All right, get out, get out. Blah, blah, blah. Get the two by four. Eh. I can do this. I need to fucking concentrate as I'm gonna die horribly in this place. Already been in that one. Is there anything around the building? Anything at all? No, just more zombies. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. We got ten food now. We still. Why am I getting so much ammo and guns? I'm not getting guns anymore. I've ran out of guns. The group finds a gas station far off the main road. Someone has looted the store and there's no zombies in sight. The gas pumps are old and don't seem to be functioning. Come on, fix those pumps. She tries but gets nowhere with them and she's absolutely angry again. Who? The group gets. Sets up camp for the night after being sure there's no danger here. They discover edible berry bushes all around the campsite. The berries wouldn't be a big amount of food for them for the work and the sleepless night, but everyone could help. Every bit could help. Y yeah, I'll take being tired right now. I'll take it. I'll take it. I need food. I need to keep the food up. Everyone's tired. Hey, it's Sean! Well, it's Povey, it's nice to see a familiar face. He was making tons of noise playing a portable game console at full blast. Sean was playing a portable game console at full blast in a zombie apocalypse. Because that is what Sean would do. And this is why Sean died the last time. We're recruiting him. We're going to get rid of the pig. Bye, pig. Loriette gets booted out of the group to make room for Povey. Yeah. I'm not leaving Sean. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Cabin with a car, gym, apartment. A mystery factory, which is going to be awful. Ah... Uh... I'm gonna go for the apartment. The group drives near a rather large apartment building. It may take a while to explore this, but they might have an indoor pool. It's near sunset. I don't have any torches because Doofus took my torches. It's gonna get real bloody dark very fast. He's only got a mop. <laughs> All right, you can have this, Sean have this to be fair we made a bad mo move because we could have just wait a minute did i not we could have just eaten the pig let me just swap it in like that sean take this i got my gun I'm not stupid. I'm, I'm not gonna go somewhere that looks like it's gonna kill me. We need that gun. I don't think we've got any pistol ammo though.
Oh yeah, and everyone's tired as well. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Nothing in there. Food! Just what we always needed. Food. Open it. I can already see it getting dark. This is not going to end well. I'm going to be running around this place in the dark. Oh, there's nothing in here either. We're having so much luck with what we get in these places. So, so much luck. There's some food at last. So dark. <laughs> oh great, it was junk on the shelves. Just junk. Nothing useful, just junk. Nah. Right, I'm coming back to the gun. And I completely shot in the wrong direction. Because of course I did. I'm going to get so lost in a minute. Being in there. What are my neighbours doing? It's so dark. No, 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 no. There's no point doing anything. Right. We're going. We survived it though, we didn't die, we got more food. The most important thing is that we got food. We have the food. <laughs> oh my god. We have our guns, we have our food. The Greek police of McDowell's, which was the most popular restaurant in the United States before civilization fell. Even after all this time, the food found here is still preserved due to all the chemicals. Barking is not great for your health, but won't kill you. Find and eat burgers. Pay the burg price. Search for kids' meal toys instead. 
I'm guessing if we get the toys, we might get a morale boost. And everyone's morale's bad. But at the same time... I'm going to eat the burgers. Lady Kaiserin finds a box of Big McDowell burgers. A hundred years could pass and not even a bu even bugs or mould would get anywhere near these things. The group digs in. Lady Kaiserin goes overboard and eats way too much of this food. But she's happy. She's happy. Everyone really enjoys those burgers, but they're not great. For the old internal organs... Everyone is happy, but we're all hurt. We're all really happy. Burgers make us happy. The group finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies in sight. It has a wood stove in it, but no wood. The group eats a decent meal. I'm just going to get into sleep. Everyone's slowly being healed. The car has completely run out of gas. Whoop. This has gone downhill again. The weather suddenly turns bad. The group is caught in the open. and must keep moving. They are forced to tumble around in miserable conditions. Well, that lasted long. The group spots an old boot on the road. It doesn't look like it's anyone's size. But hey, it's free. Get that boot. The group walks to a junkyard with a car pulled up to the front of it. The car looks like it will run, and it might be the last one you see for a while. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to give someone the boot. It's a lucky boot. Jen, have the boot. Have the throne boot. Why not? Why not? We have a little gun. We don't need it, though. Povey has a gun, too. We don't need it. Oh, now we have got an ice cream truck. More ammo, more ammo. I shouldn't be surprised now. Ooh, we actually got food. Right, we're going into the maze that is... The junkyard itself. <gasps> Boom! I need to remember that I have a cooldown on my weapon and it is very large because I am, have no fitness whatsoever. There's the keys. Got them. Got him! Black. I don't want whatever's in there. Let me have it. <laughs> More ammo. <laughs> what I always wanted. Even more ammo. Even more ammo! Nice! At least we've got ammo. I don't think we've got the right ammo though. We haven't got a shotgun. Wrap it all. Nothing over there? No. Into our ice cream truck. We've got an ice cream truck! 
All right, we've got 12 food. We've got 70 gas. Our medical's gone up to eight. We're getting there, rebuilding our ammo stocks. But as I said, we haven't got a shotgun. We need a shotgun. Because we've got so much shotgun ammo. Or scavenging the group runs into a man covered in cardboard boxes. He says he's been stuck here for days. He has a rifle lying on the ground outside of his reach. Can someone steal his weapon? Uh, I don't really need a rifle. So I don't really want to steal it. But I have a feeling something bad's going to happen if I help him. But I want to help him because I don't want the rifle and I don't want to get hurt. I feel like I'm going to get hurt either way. I'm going to help him. The group saves the man from the cardboard boxes, pinning him down. He can't spare a reward, but is really grateful. My morale decreases because I'm a bitch. Sean has no loyalty, which we already knew because he doesn't believe in Mondays. But Jen and Kaiserian are happy. And that's all that matters. I'm going to get Lady Kazarian home no matter what. She's going home. We're getting her to Canada. The group drives into the outskirts of the city. Zombies mill around, but they haven't seemed to notice the car yet. <gasps> Apartment with Bark Banner. But the thing is, we've got a full party. I don't really want to get rid of Jen just for a dog. Because Jen's actually been quite useful. And having a human is quite useful. Like, she's got not that bad medical compared to everyone else. And she's got a good attitude. And she's quite easy to keep happy because she's nurturing. Jen writes about her adventures when she's not busy. Povey writes about his adventures when he's not busy. Oh, look! Friends! I might go to the coffee shop. I like going to apartments more than shops anyway, though. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I might still go to the apartment, to be honest, and get there and save the dog. Yeah, I'm going to go to the apartment. We can save that dog. The dog needs to be saved. How much of this do I have? I have slightly less. I should keep my rifle, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I might give him a pistol just in case. Sean has a pistol. Nothing could go wrong with Sean having a pistol. Oh look, we got more ammo. All we want is a shotgun. I will be happy with just a shotgun right now. Because we have so much ammo for a shotgun. Some pistol ammo. Nice, I want that. There's nothing in here. Nothing in there. Nothing in here. Come on, round, round. Eh. Zombies bounce. Did you know that? Must be the gases that are filling up their bodies. This way. This run has been nothing but disaster filled with guns. I don't know how we've survived this long, to be honest. Everyone's so angry. <laughs> no one's eaten half the time. Me and Lady Kaiser have basically been on one health most of the run.
The guns aren't even a good weapon just to have a lot of because it's so easy to run out of ammo and then you're just stuck hitting people with a gun. At least we're getting some food. That's the most important thing. We needed that food. That. Here we go, we're gonna find the dog and save it, and then send it to its death. Unless, of course, someone dies. Someone might die in here. Kill them all. Here he is. The dog seems unusually tame. Most dogs that are still alive have become feral at this point. The dog seems eager to see humans. Come on, doggo. Elvia starts following Anna. She could be useful if you can get her out of here alive. Or a handy distraction if you can't. I have a guard dog. <gasps> nice shiny toilet. Blap them all. Ah! Blap. Blappity blap. Some food. More food. <gasps> we got so much food. We're saved. The run is slightly doing better now. We've got a broom in there. I just want a shotgun. Why can't we just have a shotgun? <laughs> the doggo has a piece of wood! <laughs> I said we want to keep the dog over Jen. <laughs> Just so you know why I've got a random character called Jen. The reason I had a Jeff was because I actually did a YouTuber run, kind of. Like I added a load of YouTubers in. I just changed them around when I was playing it to some of my friends. And I never got rid of Jen. Jen is Jen Louise from Cultaholic. She's one of the most amazing human beings on the planet. I love her so much. I like they, they, she used to do rest, um, This Week in Wrestling for them, but they basically, once you've done it one year, there's no point doing a second year. So they've got like her doing positive outlooks on things that people hate in re wrestling, which is perfect for her because she, she just she tries to find the good in everything, which is kind of what I do as well. Like One of the things that turned me off wrestling was that wrestling fans can be so negative about everything. And sure, some things are just crap and deserve to be criticised, but I, I like trying to find a positive in things. I don't like being miserable all the time. I mean, my depression makes me miserable all the time anyway, so I don't like making myself more miserable. Still no shotgun. Feels bad. Got a lot of food now, though. Got a lot of gas. Got a lot of pistol ammo, that's alright. We needed pistol ammo. Got a lot of rifle ammo. We need a shotgun. Elva catches up with the group at a safe spot. She seems like she wants to stick around. We've got to set you free, I'm afraid, friend. Jen is so happy! I'm so happy that Jen is happy! The group finds an abandoned campground with a fire pit. Anna even finds an old, somewhat stale, extra-large packet of marshmallows. 
I think we're going to tell stories. The group swaps stories about themselves. They learn a lot about each other, but forget all about the marshmallows. My composure is eh. Jen's composure is eh. Jen's wits are bad. Jen's law is... See, that is Jen. That is Jen Louise. She is just a shiny, beautiful woman. Sean's composure is alright. And we ate a decent meal. Alright. Things are looking up. The group finds a waterlogged store. There's a lot of mannequins inside, barely visible in the darkness. The whole store is especially creepy. There may be some mouldy supplies left. We should all go in. Oh, group enters the dark, creepy store. Lady Kaiser mistakes a mannequin for a zombie and attacks. This makes everyone freak out. Oh my god. We got eight food though. And we got some gas. So whilst we're all kind of hurt, and Lady Kaiser is nearly dead again. Why did Jen treat Sean? The group continues making progress along the death road. As long as one person remains alive, the dream of Canada lives on. We can trade. We've got 21 food. We might actually be able to trade. <gasps> More ammo. Just what I want. More ammo. And some food. I have a little bit more food to trade with. You've got a bazooka. You might actually have what I need. This man is carrying several shotguns. Yes. Yes. And we got more shotgun shells. The trader falls for Anna's charm and gives me extra. Oh my God. Yes. This woman is decked out in sweatbands, limb, limb warmers, and garish accessories, and exercise clothes. She's been con I, only the fittest will survive in a zombie-filled world. I can help you get fit fast. She's been continuously running in place this whole time. I'm going to try to charm her. Anna gets free fitness training. I'm not quite so bad anymore. I'm getting fit. Right, we got our shotgun, which is all I wanted. Is it just smooth sailing from now on? It is just smooth sailing. She wasn't asking a question. Lady Kaiser needed to be, see, why is she not? Oh my God. I might just take over Lady Kaiser right now. And leave my fate to fate. I don't want her to die. And Jen just keeps healing everyone but her. What has she done to upset Jen? Five driving days till Canada. <laughs> we might make it. <laughs> right. If I'm going to be... I'm going to take the shotgun. That's not a good weapon for me, though. Um, oh, what's that? What did she do? She's got... When did Jan, Jen get a blowtorch? Jesus. She's not got anything good either. I want to get... I want to get her home. I want to get her home! It's near sunset. Oh, that's the worst thing. We don't have... Oh, this is going to be horrible. Right. Come on, guys. Let's not get stuck over here. I 
actually, you know what? It's not going that bad. We'll just keep the smashing for a minute. Right. Why does that happen? Did I just drop my boot? I dropped the boot. I'm not going back for it. Can Kazarian trample down zombies because of the burgers? Maybe, maybe. Oh, we got so much gas. We're definitely going to get the car to Canada. Even if we personally don't get there. The group feels inspired after managing to survive the situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward. And it could do with uh, morale and random skill. Uh, so what we got? My shooting increased. Lady Kaiserin's mechanical increased. Jen's medical increased. And Povey's strength increased. Nice. Everything's turning up Millhouse. The group couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to cable to get cobble together a campsite. The weather is terrible at night. Anna didn't mind it much. Uh, Sean thought the weather was nice. That's because he's British. The group eats a decent meal. Yeah, it's going all right. We might make it. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We can either do a roadside rescue, a cabin rescue, or just go to a junkyard with a car. What is our car looking like? Our car is not looking good. We might want to go and get the car, to be honest. I don't want to be on foot again. I'm going to go get the car. Late afternoon. I really wish I could just pick up... Pick up a damn... Alright, I might go back to being me. I might go back to being me. You can have the rifle. I am going to have the shotgun. Because I like the shotgun. Jen, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, go. I'm getting so used to being. I mean, I've got to swap around. Do, 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 do. I hope this doesn't go wrong. Ooh, gas. Nice. Was there anything in there? I don't think there was. Oh yeah, toilet gas. Nice. Oh! <gasps> 
medical. Hopefully, Jen will save Lady Ka Kaiserin so that we can take her home. Don't go up there. Why are you two going up there? Don't split up. Sean's, Sean's just going on his own. They're a nightmare. An absolute fucking nightmare. Ooh, crowbar. Take the crowbar. Ah. Nice. Some keys. Black. I think that is it. Now I'm splitting up and Sean's just gone on his own again. It's very unpoggers of Sean to keep running off like that. Keys fit perfectly. We are going. Oh, look at all that food. We've got so much food. Suddenly a giant fissure erupts across the road ahead. It's big, super big. The asphalt buckles on either side, making for a pretty sick ramp. I'm going to gun it. Jen grabs the wheel and pounds the gas pedal. The scar bolts forward, ripping a howling screech into the sky. The car barely makes it, but sinks like an anvil and smashes into the ground. Oh my god. But look at our morale! It took a beating, but it's still running. We did it. <laughs> the car is not looking good. But we made it. Well, it's Aaron. It's nice to see a familiar face. He is yelling at some survivors because they made fun of his hair. Oh, I love Aaron, but Jen's been so helpful to us. We've only got four days. Aaron's gonna have to stay. I'm sorry, Aaron. I love you, but you're dying in the zombie apocalypse. It gets late and there's no great place to camp. So all zombies hobble around in the far distance and one might sneak up in a group while they sleep. Who should stay on, up on watch? Who had good loyalty? It was Jen, wasn't it? Yeah, Jen can stay up. Jen stands watched for roving the zombies. She manages to stay awake but feels groggy in the morning. That's fine. That's fine. Why couldn't it have been a werewolf apocalypse? At least then there'd be a werewolf's. Alright! Sean, you're smart. In a house with a generator attached, the group stumbles onto a working computer. It's one of the older style ones. Oh yeah, we're going to try to get onto the internet. The computer makes strange piercing noises and distorted chirps. What the heck is going on? Lady Kaiserin fiddles with the ancient computer. It's completing that a mystery. <laughs> then the power shuts off. No PB&J again. The group explores a fairly quiet city. This is a good chance to resupply in a relative safety. Both of them are going to have doggos. I might go with the apartment though. I mean, they're both pretty much the same thing. I'm still going to go to the apartment. We're going to the apartment. Isn't Jen tired? Maybe it'd be a good idea to let her rest. Do, 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 do. Right, who's got what? She's got a crowbar. Still got a broom. 
That seems fine. That seems fine. Well, I can go back to being me completely now. Because she's safe for a minute. I want people to let her know that I really did my best to keep her safe this whole time. To the point that I changed my main character to her to save her. I couldn't help Doofus. He, he was just a very angry bandit. Maybe next Doofus. Next random Doofus won't be so bad. Because I've, yeah, I've partnered with Sean and I've partnered with Kazarian. So it'll be you I partner with next. And because everyone's going to sleep and Sean's at uni, I'll probably do a Rare Characters one. Everyone's just smashing everything. Nice. This time I won't make you a bandit. It was fun for this run, but next time I want you to survive too. Flap! Wait, we're missing short. No, he's back. Doofus, you might have made it to Kandra already, seeing so you just stole all her stuff and left. You definitely had enough guns to get you there. Bah! Nothing in here. Why did I not go into this door? Well, there's nothing in there anyway. I've already been in this one, haven't I? Yeah. Right, let's go up. Nope, we're not going up, we're going down. It's down! We got this. That looks like Hero if Hero was a zombie. We have zombie heroes. Help me. I thought it was meant to say bark. Paul says that she really wants to get out of this place. She asks if she can follow you. Yeah, come on. Medical. Nice. Uh. 
up, 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 up. Nothing in there. Ooh, food. Right. I don't think there's anything else. Run away! Where is my car? There it is. Go! Another raid successfully done. More food. So much ammo, Jesus Christ. We still need another shotgun, to be honest. She offers a reward. Uh, group fitness training. Everyone's fitness has increased. Good, good. Jen is fully healed by Jen. After a long drive, the group finds a safe place to camp. The night passes with no incident. Yeah. I passed a shotgun, did I? I know Paul picked something up. As the group explores a campsite, they were ambushed by bandits. They brandish makeshift weapons. They demand all of your weapons. No. Compromise. Group will leave something, abandons one on the on the rope, then drive away. No harm will be done. I was gonna give them a personal treasure. The group, not willing or able to spare other supplies, decides to lose some treasured personal items to the bandits. We're all sad. I need more weapons. Give me all the weapons. No, we need to divide the weapons evenly. Yes, yeah, Sean, tell Kaiserian she's not allowed all the weapons. Or driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We might as well go to the arcade. The group finds a pretty big arcade full of now signed video games. Maybe if you can check one of them. Check one of them will be gas or battery powered. That could be helpful. Yeah. <gasps> I've got a screwdriver. Oh no, I did get the shotgun. The other character must have grabbed it and we got it when um, she left the party. You're falling. You can have the other shotgun. You can. He has the pistol, shotgun, rifle, shotgun. Going up. I want my shotguns. Blap, blap, blap. I can play that, but it's gonna be so dark by the time I finish playing it. This arcade machine seems to be working. It's not very clear how it run, how it ru can run without electricity. Yeah. Anna plays an old arcade game named Death Road to Canada and really gets into it. <laughs> it might not have been the smartest idea, but it was a fun idea.
I think it might be hailing outside. It sounded like that when it hit my window just then. Blap, blap. I can't see anything. I can't see if these toilets have anything in them or not. I mean, the sparkle. Got it! <laughs> Alright, now let's find our way out. There it is. No! 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 How did I do that? Everyone start shooting. <laughs> Ran into the entire group of them. We all got out! How did I survive that? Oh my god! And no one got hurt! Hope I don't run into any more bandits. The group is sitting around a campfire. Finding this campsite was rough, so they were get getting in a bad mood. The group eats a decent meal. Uh, whoop. Uh, 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 uh. We'll plan. Anna plans up the next day. It's a good use of time and helps him focus on the big picture. Yeah. I, I just like literally ran into a complete giant group of them and managed to survive. She doesn't manage to fix it this time. Oh no. If you ignore the zombies, it's just like a regular road trip. Yeah, an enormous army of undead shambles around the carnage that surrounds the border to Canada. Many have tried to get through. Most only succeed in having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe your team will be different. This is the last chance to trade. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, there's a building. What's in the building? Right, do we need food? going forward we have like one more food check don't we what has everyone got oh there's so many people who are you cats still exist but they've grown really big now be careful out there the group finds a man near a rusted truck the truck is full of gas tanks and oily rags both the man and truck reek of gasoline no, I've got enough gas, I believe. Cats still- Everyone's talking about cats. Someone needs to fix the roads. The group sees a gruff man near an ice cream truck. The words ice cream have been crossed off with the sign. Shotgun shells written in it. No. Here you. Aisa almost made it to Canada. She got as far as the city of Crushed Hopes, where the rest of her group was eaten. She offers to join you for ten food. I don't have enough food anyway. I wouldn't want you. I've got my friends. The power of friendship's going to get us there. The group finds man selling a bunch of firearms. He's holding a minigun. don't really have the m food for any of this anyway. The group meets a woman who is covered in hammers. They hang from several tall belts and bandoliers. Can I tell you a secret? I love blunt weapons. I'll sell you my spares cheap. No thanks. The group sees a man standing near the SUV. Do you have a spare gas? I'm running out. He offers to give you two cans. Of food for every 25 food. That's a lot for two food. The group sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain a large amount of food and drink.
what if I would change characters? Does she have a different thing that she wants? Jen even holding a shotgun. She is holding a shotgun. I picked the wrong person. What about Poli? Have a broom. <laughs> she doesn't see anything she wants. Wait, what was that? However, there's something you can sell on a different character. She just wants my shotgun. She's not getting my shotguns. I need them. Huh, I ran over that person with the gun. Giant armies of undead perpetually lurch around the Canadian border. Unable to cross, the group set gets ca gets caught up in a lesser swarm before they can find a safe camp. Do the stupid thing and go in. I want what I can get in here though. I might have more ammo. <gasps> There's a chainsaw. smashing We got this. Siege is over. Go, 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 go. I got a chainsaw, guys. We are a chainsaw. This car is falling to pieces. Luck is on my side. The group feels inspired. We'll do morale and random skill. Alright, I'm quickly, quickly going to the toilet. And I will be back.
can you imagine if we win this run? It started off so bad. What is going on with my phone right now? It has been five years since Terry Pratchett died. That is sad. If you haven't guessed, Terry Pratchett is kind of my hero. I've never read his final book either. Because if I read it, then he's really gone. Like, really, really gone. And I'm never going to have a new book to read. I never have a new book to read anyway. But I always have one new book to read when I want to read it. The group prepares for the brutal day ahead of them. Kandra is close, but the zombie forecast is bad. The group eats a decent meal. <sighs> Nearly at the border of Canada, the group is surrounded by seemingly endless undead. To survive, they must face one last siege. This is the final siege, but not the last battle. Four hours in the afternoon. All or nothing. Right. Crowbar. I might want to. How many? Right. Yeah. He's got that. So I might give her that one. Got my shotgun. I've got my chainsaw. But I don't want the chainsaw to be my number one thing at the minute. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm so nervous now because we might win. I don't think I want the blowtorch, you know. I think I might just give her the tar iron. I don't really want to be in a horde that's sat on fire, to be honest. Something about that just, especially the way Lady Kaiserin died the last run, something about that just freaks me out. I think this is good. Right. <sighs> Need to believe in Monday. Monday has this for us. We got this. We got another shotgun. Right, we'll leave that for a minute. It's a rifle. Bugger. Alright, everyone just start shooting. Shoot the fuck out of everything. Get out quick. Stop shooting for a minute. What else have I got? I changed the one for one last shot. You might pick up that.
Run this way, guys! Can we get down here? Yeah! I don't know how long it's been. <laughs> Myself stuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Everyone shoot. Shoot for your lives. Oh come on. The border to Canada is just north of here. The group must cross the bridge. <laughs> oh my god, we might make it! Right, what has everyone got? Do I have any of that left? No. Right, have another one of these. What's this? Zombie leg. Alright, you got a zombie leg. I don't have any ammo left. Ugh. Right. There's all or nothing. This is scary. <laughs> right. Let's get up to the border. Come on, everyone! I've lost everyone. I ran off of this bloody chainsaw and lost everyone. There they are. Tell what zombies and what's dead zombie bodies anymore. Oh 
Oh my god! We actually did it! <laughs> You've got a can-do attitude, eh? Congrats on making it to Canada. The Prime Minister himself makes the group honorary citizens of Canada. He welcomes to the last remaining nation on Earth! We did it! You can't hear me. Oh, you can't hear me because you've got your sound off. I thought for a minute that something had gone wrong with my stream again. Oh, I did. I got Lady Kaiser and home. Wait, 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 wait. Right, the beefcake came out. I don't believe we made it. I don't expect to make it. I was eventually banned from driving cars after destroying one every week. Lady Kaiserin tried to become a Mountie but didn't really have the skills for it. Jen didn't have any strong skills and had a peaceful but uneventful life in Canada. Yeah, it's you or you can't hear but... Sean... Me and Lady Kaiserin all made it to Canada. I promised her. I promised her I'd take, take her home, and I did. Wow. I don't believe it. We made it.